why does this work so much? Okay, why why does the midnight open? Why why is this a magical line that just seems to always have a probability of hitting? It's not because it's some just magical line that the secret elites are manipulating price to get to every single day. So if you're just watching this for the first time, this is a live trade. I'm live on YouTube right now where we collected another 25 points from the market and I'm done for the day. And why did this happen and why did this work so effectively and why does this continue to work? So just like how when you're watching this one minute chart, because I have to give you context behind how this works. So just like how you're watching these one minute candles, you see how this, this one minute candle, it just opened up bullish, but it can also go back to its opening price and it may either continue going bullish or it may turn into a bearish candle. See how it just came back to its opening price on this one minute candle? Price will do this. This is a very constant thing that price will do no matter if you're on the one minute, five minute, 15 minute, whatever. Price will fluctuate from its opening price of that singular candle and then it'll choose, okay, do we? is the buyers going to overwhelm the sellers or is the sellers going to overwhelm the buyers and are we going to close either a bearish or a bullish candle? The same thing is happening on a higher time frame. It just takes all day to experience because it's a daily candle. So you see on the right part of my chart here, this is the daily candle. Okay, and this starts at midnight open New York, not start of Asia, the New York open. And what we're seeing, and you can see this happening real time as I'm, as I'm recording this, what we're seeing is the fluctuation of the daily candle happening on a higher time frame. That's all that's happening. Just like how these one minute candles, you're just seeing this live. We, it, this candle opened, it turned bullish. And then we went back to midnight open, turned bearish. We're, we're seeing, do we want to close bullish or bearish from that opening price? That's all this midnight open does. That's the science behind this midnight opening price is we are using data to tell us. So if I go to the hourly time frame here, again, this is a free indicator that I made called the Midnight Snap. You can click the link in the description below and get this free. There's, it's not paid. If anybody, if any Austin DMs you saying, hey, pay me for this, they're scamming you. Okay, I, this is 100% a free indicator. Once this loads, you're going to see we have a out of 2.8 years of data on your chart that you can build from the hours between 8 to 11 a.m. EST, again, in the settings, you can change this to whatever you want, define this to whatever asset you want. But for MNQ, NASDAQ, from 8 to 11 a.m. EST, every single morning, out of 1,041 sessions just on this chart on the hourly time frame, that we have a 67.2% chance of retracing to this midnight open. And why is that? Because what it's doing is it's collecting 1,041 days or about 2.8 years, okay? And it's just spitting out a percentage of out of these past 2.8 years, how many times versus how many times we didn't retrace to this midnight opening line? 67% of the time. Now, a cool thing is with this indicator is you can use the replay mode on TradingView, so this little replay mode here, and you can go all the way back to the beginning of your hourly chart, and then it'll spit out another new statistic, and the cool thing is you can keep on doing that a few times and you can get like 10 plus years of data in the matter of seconds. And out of 10 plus years of data, because I've already done this and you average out the percentages between 65 to 67% of the time, no matter the year, the day, the time, the top of the market, whatever, we have have a 65 to 67% chance objectively to retrace to this magical little line here. Again, why is that? What's the science behind this? is because we're experiencing the fluctuation on a daily basis of this daily candle. So out of the entire day, right, we're, we're seeing this candle decide, do we want to, like, we're, we're seeing it bounce, right? Just like on the minute, we're seeing the minute candles do this, open up and then go back here, go, go back to opening price. We're seeing this daily candle Right? It may open up here, may, may experiment to go bullish, oh, and then may get some sell pressure. We're capturing this moment in time in a specific window of time when price decides to come back and retest that opening to see if we want to continue bullish or continue bearish. I don't care what happens after. People will ask me, what do you think the market's going to do after? I don't know, and I don't care because I'm being very specific, and, and I'm, I'm 
hyper focused on one specific movement of the market. And that's why a lot of you are unprofitable is because you're focusing on how to capture every single move of the market, every single strategy of the market, how to view the market in 20,000 different lenses, just focus and get very good on one singular lens of the market. My lens is this midnight open because I know that statistically speaking, there's a high probability between eight to 11, the daily candle is going to do this. It's going to, if, go right back and test this opening and then it's going to see okay do we want to continue bullish or it's going to test this opening okay now do we want to continue bearish and it's trying to decide on the daily time frame how it wants to close but i don't care what happens after that all i care about is the statistics of this movement right here from here to here or here to here that's it and then in addition to that i use liquidity footprints to give me an objective area of buy and sell pressure because these little footprints that I like to call, and the reason why I call them footprints is because they are these market makers, the people that move the market, not retail, people with big money, they leave these giant footprints behind, right? It's like a footprint. So we know that if these giant impulsive candles here and these giant impulsive footprints, if we know that there is, that's where the objective buy pressure was to create that hourly candle to snap back before it closed, then we know with a high probability that next time we get into that area, there's going to be objective buy pressure. Now, we can melt through it. Again, we're not predicting the market. We're using probabilities and statistics to give us objective areas where there's objectively, no one can argue, is going to be buy or sell pressure. So vice versa for wicks on the top of candles. So now you combine a moment in time where there's going to be a high statistic in your favor, you combine that with a moment in time where there's going to be liquidity that is going to be in your favor. So if price is below midnight open, I'm looking for longs. So I want to see bullish footprints. And if I'm above midnight open, I'm looking for shorts. And I want to find bearish footprints to give me context to price. Then you combine all of this together and it becomes a beautiful symphony of an edge. Now for me personally, I have a specific indicator that I use but you don't have to use this. Please don't think I'm selling you because I'm not. Because you can use this with just liquidity. You can see, here's a liquidity. You could have taken uh, the liquidity off the reaction, bullish reaction off this liquidity here. You could have dollar cost average just like how I did using just liquidity. But I take it one step further and I have my own proprietary indicator that shows me the leptocurtic distribution of price. And it shows me when price is going to distribute bullish or when price is going to distribute bearish. This uses price action, market structure, and mathematical formulas to show me where price is going to distribute leptocurtically. Go Google that if you want to. I'm not going to get into the nerdy science behind it. But that is what gives me my little, little bit more of an edge that tells me, okay, I'm going to dollar cost average here, dollar cost average here, dollar cost average here. And then now I'm going to get my 25 points or 100 ticks and I'm done for the day. I'm done. I don't care about what happens after. I don't care about anything else. I'm done being addicted to the charts. I'm done being a slave to the charts. And I'm going to go about my day, do whatever the heck else I want to do. Because trading is what gives you the freedom to do that. Is you can make paychecks in a matter of minutes or a few hours that you would it, it would take you a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever to make. So why in the world do I need to be staring at this chart, be mesmerized by these candles, for longer than I have to be. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it did, hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you drop a like. And like I said at the end of all my videos, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay grinding on your goals. And never let anyone tell you that you can't do something they have never done themselves. And I'll see you guys later.